and welcome back to another video. Now this video is just going to be a really quick one, just because I want to get this um, open and done, because um, I was on Facebook and I got and I found something really cool. So let's see if this knife can get open. Oh boy. I don't know why the guy had sealing with duct tape, seriously. There we go. And now the other side. There we go. Right. Put the knife down. Oh yeah. Right. Oh. Yes, so what we have here is the Pokemon the First Movie comics. But not just any ones. This one is signed by the voice actors from the anime. Um, it's that hand, so yeah. 1969. Oh, so this is the 1,969th out of 8,000 signed. Um, it's got a off, authenticity certificate. Let me just read this quickly. Certificate of Authenticity. Dynamic Forces Inc. has issued the certificate to uh, to authenticate this copy of Pokemon the First Movie and uh, um, Animatonic Comics New Two Strikes Back number one as one of the uh, specially limited series of 8,000 copies signed by Veron Veronica Taylor, the voice actor for Ash, Eric Statter, the voice actor for Brock, and uh, Rachel Lills. L I L L I S Lilith the voice actor for Misty. So yeah. That is pretty cool. And it doesn't have a um theme rating, you know, how in what you know condition it's in. But it is in pretty good condition. Um Okay, I need to shoulder. And then we also have the other four com or oh, the three comics, sorry. Yeah. One, two and one, two, three and four. Which all seem to also be in good condition. Which is really nice actually. Ah, so this is lit by the looks of it, it is just the movie and it's just like different parts from the movie like it is literally just like screenshots from the movie put into a comic an ad for the original Dragon Ball comics. Where does this end off? Ends off with Charizard being beaten by the clone Charizard. Charizard 2, I do think, I do think it was called. And uh, if I remember, uh, and this will probably just like, end, yeah, it just ends. Just like the anime. Uh, I don't know if there's anything. Um, that what that is in these comics story wise that isn't in the movies but I doubt it so mass crease down there which isn't good but well there's that you even have have some ads for for older comics out some of the Pokemon comics and stuff 
Um, yeah, that, this is a pretty nice find. Um, so this, on eBay I found it, and it was up on eBay for 100 quid if I remember correctly. And I got this and the other comics for 65 quid, including posters and packaging, which I do think is really good, good all things considering. Um, now you may think, well, 8,000 of these were signed, like, um, you know, surely that would mean it's not worth that much. Well, yes, 8,000 of these do exist, but how many of those 8,000, well, 8,000 of these were signed, but how many of, of those 8,000 are still in circulation? That is what is most important one of the most important things when you talk about the value of an old item it's like how many of them were made um how much did they cost uh, when they were made and it, uh, how many of them are still around today now um oh this this actually gives you a price monthly three dollars 95 cents or you in, in usa usa and in ca canadian dollars Five dollars ninety-five cents. Um, not adjusted for inflation, obviously. Um, but yeah. Um, so that. But again, the problem is with this is it's hard to get an exact, you know, value for this because, like I said, there were eight thousand of them, you know, signed. But it's hard to know how many of those 8,000 are still around today. And um, depending on, uh, and this is probably a massive bear because, say, a good chunk of those 8,000 survived. That's going to lower, say, like 7,000 of them survived. That's going to lower the value of this by quite a bit. But if only, say, 1,000 or a few hundred of these survived, then that's going to skyrocket the value of this into the stratosphere. Um, anyway, so that's going to be the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.